up YouTube, it's Aditya S and today I'm going to be reviewing the LED desk lamp with bladeless fan as you can see right over here. So uh, from the back you can see that it's not an ordinary lamp as well as it's not an ordinary fan. You can see over here that it's got a lamp, uh, an LED lamp over here as well as a fan part over here like one of those like um, like those Dyson uh, bladeless fans. So um, this, the cool thing part about this is that it's a two-in-one, so you don't have to waste too much space, and you can have a fan as well as a desk lamp at the same place. So uh, let's go ahead and just go through some of the specs of this. So it's got two charging ports, five volt, two point one amps each. It's got memory function, automatically remembering the last setting for your like fan as well as the brightness of your lamp. It, and it's also got quiet three-speed bladeless fan. Uh, a three-speed bladeless fan. So some more specs are it has five levels of brightness, three mode light temperatures, and it also has touch control. So I'll just show you that right over here. It's got 56 ultra bright LED lights and it can move in a variety of different angles which I'll just turn over to show you 45 degrees here, 45 here and more the angles here so basically it's customizable you can adjust it around your desk so let's just go ahead and open this up so I'm just gonna bring this up here for a sec and here we go all lay over here and first thing we get is a user manual but we won't be needing that so as you can see it, it looks amazing it, it really is and by the texture of it it's it is made of plastic but the um the look of it, it doesn't look like plastic it looks like some higher quality material so the first thing i notice is that you can move this in like almost any direction you want. You can move it up, oh sorry, up, down, I'm not sure, maybe you can even move it. Yeah, you, you can even move it so that the light reflects on the ceiling. I'm not sure if I would want that, but okay. It can go in like many directions, left, right, and off the bat, this is just really nice. It's, it's a nice work. And this was retail. Um, this was wholesale at Costco for like forty dollars. So I guess that's not way too much. Not that big of a price. So, um, as you can see over here, we've got some settings for the fan. There is a brightness level, an on and off switch, as well as the fan logo to turn it on. And. Basically, I mean, I could imagine this being at the corner of my desk, like this part over my computer and this uh, fan blowing towards me. And it's, it's a really minimal design, like you, it, it's like you can put this at the corner of your desk and you won't even know it's there, but it will still provide you with uh, winds as well as light. So let's just have a look at some more of the aspects of this. Here we go. Inside this, we have the uh, wall outlet. So here we go. Now the problem with the uh, these kinds of wall outlets, I can tell off right by looking at it, is that it takes up a lot of space. So let's say um, you don't have any wall extenders. This is gonna plug in, and it's going to take up all the wall outlets, um, like the plugging in area. Um, below the one you're plugging it into and it will also cover up to some of the upper wall outlet because like you've got one and two so then uh, that's gonna be a problem so you're gonna have to buy a wall extender I can already tell that so otherwise you can just tell that this plugs in right back here and over here you've got like the exhaust as well as the USB output over here one and two so Enough with the fan, let's actually see it in use and let's plug this in and try it out. So as you can see, I've plugged in the LED desk lamp slash fan 
and as I said before, it do it is pretty minimal. It can just sit at the corner of your desk, and you won't even notice it. But it still provides you with light. As you can see, there are here's a control panel, and you can turn the light on and off from here. And all these small little three dots over here, and the brightness bar over here, controls how bright the light is. So I can tap here, and the uh, light will get brighter. Yeah. There is also something I was not expecting, but it's pretty cool. You can also change the color of the lights by pressing the M button. So here we go. Here we, it's kind of like white and yellow light at the same time. And over here is full yellow light. And if you press it again, we can go back uh, back to bright white light. So as you can tell, I'm really impressed with the light and. It's, just, it's pretty, it's really bright, like I can concentrate on my work here. However, the fan is something I'm not so proud of. So let's look, take a look at the low setting for the fan. So the low setting, weirdly enough, it has this odd buzz to it. It's not like the buzz of any fan, it ha it's just like you can hear it there. And it's much louder than I expected it to be. And for low, I can hardly even feel this. So I'm not proud of that. I, I was not expecting the fan to be such low quality. I'm gonna press this again and again to go to high. And as you can see, that weird buzzing sound is gone. And it's replaced by like the sound you would expect for a fan. It's quiet, it's nice. It gives a bit of air. But if I'm sitting over here, like three, not two feet away from the fan, I, I just can't feel it. If I put my hand up here close, I can, but it, it's the fan is just not as what good as I expected it to be. The light, however, is amazing. White light, yellow and white light, yellow light. It gives like all the shades you need, and it has like five levels of brightness. It's really nice. So, one more thing I forgot to point out was over here when you turn on. The fan, low, medium, or high, um, it will give us this weird green light over here. These five LEDs over here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. I guess it's just a design, but just wanted to point that out. But anyways, I am very impressed, but not as impressed with this fan slash LED um, lamp slash fan. It is very minimal, and it can stay in the corner of your desk. But unfortunately, it only focuses mostly on the light aspect. It is very good at that. But the fan is not like it's not as powerful as I want it to be. And at the low low speed, it has that weird buzz to it. I'm not sure if you could hear it off the camera, but it just does. So um, in the end, I would recommend this to somebody. Except I'm not. Uh, that satisfied with it as some of the other like products I've done reviews on but anyways if you like this product review don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Aditya S thanks for watching